Thank you, local band Smoke Out. Ladies and gentlemen, Ghost Bean Entertainment in the back! Give me a hell yeah! Hell yeah. Well, How are you today, sir? I am good. It's This is going to be weird trying to follow along on my phone. So you don't mute the stream audio because there's a like, six to eight second delay. So it's easier oh, if yeah. we just talk through teams. Uh, it's yeah, I got it. It's easier that way. Well, dude, do me a favor. Uh, properly introduce yourself. Let me know whereabouts of the world you are. Plug and promote anything you'd like. Ooh, anything I'd like. Okay. Uh, so I'm Dustin with Ghost Media Entertainment. I am the owner of Ghost Media Entertainment. I do have um, some people that I work with. They don't really work for me. They're volunteer helpers. Uh, we've got Gabe and Andy. Uh, and then we've got Seth, who does our booking. And then uh, um, we have two new people that we're adding on. One's gonna be for reaction videos and one's gonna be for booking. So we're gonna start booking this next year. Um, I booked some when I got started and um, it was a lot of work. I couldn't handle it myself. Now that we're more established, we're gonna add a booking agent on. But yeah, um, I, I don't know what to promote. Uh, there's so much I could promote right now. Let me, <laughs> let me ask you this, like what, what gave you the idea to start Ghost Media? So I started Ghost Media Entertainment because I found a band that I really liked. I'm not going to name them because there was a lot of controversy last summer um, and they're, they're no longer together, blah, blah, blah. Long story short, it was a bad scene. But anyways, I really liked this band. I really connected with the guys and I had lived in Missouri at the time. I said, hey, guys, I want to see you here. They said, find me a promoter, find me a venue and we'll come see you. All the, all the promoters in my area either blew me off or just weren't interested or whatever. So I said, I'll do it myself. Um, never got them out there, but that's what really started all of this. So it was just like a frustration from people not wanting to work with you. So you basically just said, F I'm going to do, do it all myself. Pretty much. And then, you know, through that process of looking for a promoter and talking to bands and just people in my general area, there are a lot of promoters that they treat people so poorly. Um, I wanted to step in and, and be the opposite of that. I wanted to make sure that these people are getting paid for the shows that they're playing, um, that their their communication is clear, all kinds of different things. And you know, I wanted to one up the area's um, promoters, which I did, but also at the same time, I didn't have the money at the time to to make it what I wanted. Um, so it, you know, it started off slow at first, and then it, it just took off. If someone wanted to to work with you guys, uh, what what is the process of going about that, and what all could you do for them? Let's just say a local band hits you guys up and they're like, "Hey, we we want to work with you." What is the process to go through that, and then all these things that you could offer them? Um, I mean, basically, all they have to do is just shoot me a message. Shoot me a message if they're friends with me on Facebook. Shoot the the page a message, um, and just let us know what you want. And um, we don't charge for anything at the moment. Um, who knows what next year is going to bring as we continue to build and, and bring more people on. Um, but right now everything's free. I've run everything free since day one. The only money that we've ever made is through merch, um, which we will be doing, uh, getting a, a site designed for merch here shortly. But yeah, you just tell me what you want promoted, whether it be a show, um, a new release, just your band in general. If you want me to check out your music, just shoot the page a message and we will work with you. Um, it may not be same day, it may take a couple of days to get you on, but um, it's, it's that simple, really. Until we start getting bigger and bigger and it's going to be a hassle, but that's how we're running it right now. That's awesome. Uh who are you? Some of your personal favorite bands, and just mix up the genres. Like, don't give me three metal bands. Obviously, give me a metal band or two, but give me give me some stuff like outside the box that you that you favor just in your personal jamming time. Okay, um, basically, my number one favorite band is a band called Dirty Heads. They're out of California. We're like a beach rock 
band. We know Dirty Heads. Uh, love them so much. Um, that is the go-to around the campfire. If we have people over, because a lot of my friends, they listen to country or some pop, poppy, hip-hop, whatever. We throw Dirty Heads on because it's, it's got a, a it's got a good vibe, you know? So Dirty Heads is number one. I found them back in, when they got started in like 2007, 2008, something like that. And then um, just fell in love with them right away. But yeah, so Dirty Heads, um, creeping up on the list is Bad Omens. I'm falling in love with them. They, they have such a good sound. But if we're, gonna, if, we're gonna, if we're gonna pick local bands too, because what I do is I make playlists um, for the business. And that's all I jam, really. Unless I'm in the mood for some dirty heads or, or bad omens or a sleep token or something, um, uh, you know, then I just throw on the playlist. That's, so, that's so my day. Let me ask you this then: Give me two local bands that you think are going to blow up in 2024 that are right there. Um, yeah, face yourself is going to be my number one. I called it on my on my personal the other day. I said they're going to be they're going to be a household name uh, by the end of 2024. Um, maybe in the middle of 20, 2025, you know, mm. they are doing so well. They've been around since March, dropped their EP in March. And right now they're just, they're blowing everything up and it's insane. So absolutely love those guys. Um, another band to really watch out for is going to be fight from within. They just got done playing incarceration festival and they, they just, they're just booming. We actually get to see them on Sunday. Hell yeah, we we know both those bands. Uh, they're they're both awesome. I first yeah. first I love your shirt by the way. Thanks. Hey Arnold, I see Hey yes. Arnold, Rugrats, uh, <laughs> Not Real Monsters. What's the blue dude in the bottom uh, middle? It's a beaver. We've got Hey Arnold. Oh, that's uh, Dag from Angry Beavers. I for some reason don't know what that is, but I must have missed yeah. that show. But I do know I do know. Uh, yeah, Hey Arnold. And the other ones. Uh, Chat wants to know about meeting Kellen Coyne and Rory giving you his most excellent pizza. <laughs> so, yeah. So, we had a friend. Her name's Brittany. She came up from Alabama. She said, hey, I'm doing this little concert. Um, little concert tour. I'm following some bands. And I'm just hitting concerts on the way. And this concert is about an hour away from you. Come join us. So, I took uh, myself, my wife, and four of my kids. Four of the five kids that I have. Um, and we went and enjoyed the show and, uh, we stood in the back and, and waited patiently like everybody else. And, uh, so Kellen came out and he was super cool. Um, had a lot of fun with the kids. He'd heard of ghost media entertainment before. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, as we're standing in line for Kellen to come out, um, uh, Rory comes out with this pizza box and says, who wants uh, some pizza? It's it's a non-vegan option. And I just held my hand out because he was right in front of me, and he handed it to me. Ended up being this, uh, like, really awesome, like, white sauce Alfredo-style cool. pizza. Did he sign the or, box? He did, he did sign the box. That's cool. Yeah, so when we got done with him, I'm like, Rory, I really need to talk to you. I love you so much. Um, nobody was lining up for Rory. I don't even know if they really even realized who he was, um, but I knew who he was right away because we jam him all the time. But um, I walked up to him with the pizza box, and I'm like, hey, can you sign the pizza box? And he goes, don't you have anything better than a pizza box? I'm like, dude, you literally handed me your pizza, and we ate it. Like, You got a story to go with it. That's cool. That's yeah. Cool. It's iconic memory. So he signed the box and we hung out, took some pictures, um, promoted the business a little bit. <laughs> but uh, that was awesome. Yeah, That's he awesome. was super cool. Before before we get into the the trivia part, and again, you get to pick the trivia, but uh, I do want to know your plans for when it is time to monetize Ghost Media because I I used local band spoke up for me is going on about ten years, and I was I did the freestyle for about four or five years and then it was kind of time you just know when it's time to go the monetized route but but i'm just curious what some of those plans are that you have that you are going to incorporate when it's time see i i'm still trying to figure that out i've been trying to figure that out for the last year i, I know this is a way to make money i know uh at some point i'm going to be able to quit my day job and do some cool things with the scene um 
but yeah, I'm still trying to figure that. We're we're not we're only a year and a little over three months old. So we're we're still growing, we're still learning. Um, but I think a lot of it, what we would like to do is, like I said, we're we're bringing someone on to do reaction videos. We'll see how he does. Um, he's got some decent content, but it's not. It's he's still learning a lot at the same time. So we're giving him an opportunity to kind of put himself out there and kind of see what we need to do. So I think when we get into the reaction videos and get comfortable, you know, that'll be something we could most likely charge for. Um, but other than that, I, I honestly don't have any plans right now. You know, it. I know it needs to happen, um, but at the same time, it's like, what do I do? I've been racking my brain. The only thing I could really think of is just sell a bunch of merch. We can get this merch line going that we, we have in, set in place. Um, then it'll, it'll, it'll bring in some money, and that will allow us to do a lot of different things. Um, when oh, we yeah. first got started, I had up my merch line. Um, I've got my hat. I don't know if you can see it that well. I can see my it. Wife, hell yeah. Um, well, I, would, I wear this all the time, but um, the shirts that we designed, it just had our old logo, Ghost Media Entertainment, on the front, and on the back it said, support local music. Uh, we made 120 of those and sold out in less than a month. That's amazing. Um, and we ended up using that money to sponsor shows and go to shows and do whatever we could uh, locally. You know, we sponsored a couple of venues for some tournaments and stuff like that, but sponsored a couple of festivals. Um, but I want to be able to do more. I want to be able to do a lot more. So, you know, it's just hard having a full-time job, raising five children, being married, and running this at the same time. So, you know, I've got to figure out what time I can set aside to do monetization. Uh, because if I'm going to monetize, I need to be dedicated to making sure that I am keeping up with everything that I'm doing. Well said. Let's do, let's do a little trivia. Now, what hot sauce did you bring? So it doesn't actually have a name. Uh, I sent a picture to Lizzie. Shout out to Lizzie, by, by the way. She does an amazing amount of things for you behind the scene. She um, is amazing. But it, it's, a, amazing. it's in the shape of a skull. What is that? <laughs> I've never even seen anything like that. So you've had some of it before. I see it's got a dent in it. Uh, yeah. It's called Devil's Hot Sauce. Uh, the kids bought it at Spencer's. Is it is it like wicked hot or is it just, you know, you can put it on a taco more than once? Uh, I mean... We've had it for a year and it's only half gone, so it's got some heat. It's got some it's heat. It's got some heat. It's not terrible, but it's got some heat. So to do the trivia, I need to know what movie or TV show have you seen the most? You get to pick. In my hmm. opinion, it's easier to pick a movie, but it's totally your call. A TV show could have seasons, episodes, blah blah blah. Let's go with Hot Rod. Movie Hot Rod. The movie Hot Rod. Movie Hot Is that the comedy one? Yeah. Okay. Amber. Uh, it did not come up on the site that I always grab trivia from. So give me a second. But um, let's see. So when you say you guys want to start doing booking soon too, um, do you have any ideas of how you're going to go about, like, is it going to be Ghost Media Entertainment Presents and then there's the flyer with the lineup, blah, blah, blah. Is that kind of what you mean? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, we'll start booking some local shows to kind of get – a feel for how everything works. Um, the the girl that I'm supposed to be bringing on has a little bit of experience. Um, she's worked with like Michigan Metal Fest and um, uh, two or three other venues throughout the state that she's worked with before with uh, at different companies. Um, right now, I'm just kind of getting a feel for her as a person to kind of see where she's at. I've thrown a couple ideas her way and we haven't really done anything with it. So we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, as far as booking goes, you know, so there, there's one thing I wanted to bring up uh, as far as booking goes, which I tagged you guys in a post, you and Lizzie in a post a few days ago about that. So I want to get into that a little bit later, but, um, but yeah, I want, I want to be able to get the feel, build up some funds, um, so that when we're, it's time to do something a little bigger, I'm able to pay the artists what they deserve. Hell yeah. we'll, so we'll do some we'll, shows or something. We're, yeah, we're, we're, we're yeah. down to, to team up too. If you ever need our help with anything, we'd love to be involved and, 
and help uh, if if you'd have us. Sure. That'd be cool. All right, I, I have uh, this was actually really hard to find trivia on this one, so uh, <laughs> I'm gonna do my best. I, this is actually not in the movie, but you may still know. Andy Samberg obviously is the main star of the movie, but the yes. movie was actually written to have a different comedian as the main star. Can you tell me what comedian that is? Ooh. Ouch. I, I can't, honestly. I'll give you a I want to say... Oh, okay, go. The guy that... I want to say the guy that produced the movie was the guy that played his brother, actually. In okay. The movie. I don't know his name. But I want to say... I don't know. The answer is actually yeah. Will Ferrell. And he wanted to do it, but had to back out last minute due to prior commitment, so they, they ended up with Andy Samberg. But uh, I guess technically... That's a stump, but I'll, I'll do the hot sauce with you. Okay. I'll do some hot sauce with you, so it's fair. So I got some ghost pepper wing sauce I'll do. It's it's maybe like a five or six out of ten. There's not a lot of ghost pepper in it, but cheers. I don't know that. Oh, I don't know if Will Ferrell would have been good in that movie. Yeah, I don't know if that one would fit with, him. With the... But all right. Cheers, brother. Whew. Yeah, that's hot. Woo! Now, now it's fun. Now it's fun. Did you did you um have any other names in mind before you settled on Ghost Media Entertainment? Was there was there like two terrible names that you almost picked and at the last thing you were like, no, that's terrible. I can't be. I can't go with that one. Oh, that's <laughs> that was way worse than I expected it to be. Thanks, right, so. thanks for being a good thanks, sport. Thanks this, this is what makes it fun, though, because it's, it's a little tough to answer the questions now we're all both burdened. Okay, so no, I didn't. I didn't have any other names picked out. That is burning my lips. <laughs> so then how, um, how did you come up with the name? Ghost Media Entertainment actually came about so when I first got not custody of my kids, long story short, I've, I've had my kids since March of 2020. You know, we went, I got divorced in 2018, got, got them March, March 13th, 2020, when the pandemic basically shut down the whole world. My ex-wife said, I don't want to be a mom anymore. Here's the kids. And I said, hell yeah. I quit my job, went on the unemployment, got all that extra money, blah, blah, blah. Long story short, while I had my kids with me we lived in this lake house in michigan and the storms would come through and the lights would flicker right so my six-year-old he was four, three at the time he kept telling us about his imaginary friend like okay. who's your imaginary friend what's his name well his name is ghosty it's like okay ghosty what does ghosty do well he plays with the lights when the lights go out or he does this so anytime anything happens that's unexplainable, like the wind blows a cup off the counter or something, we, we blame it on Ghosty. Oh, Ghosty, Ghosty's here. You know, and Ghosty moved with us to Missouri, moved back to Michigan. He's moved into every house. Obviously, he doesn't believe Ghosty's actually here. So we took Ghosty, and, um, you know, that's, that's where the name came from. It all derived from that. But it, was, it wasn't ap until after... I made Ghost Media Entertainment like three months in before I figured out that Ghost Killer Entertainment was the thing. Yeah, Ghost Killer people, actually is, uh, we're partners with Ghost Killer Entertainment. Um, yeah, they're awesome. people mix us up, up all the time and they've been a good sport about it. They haven't made a big fuss. Um, usually they'll tag us and we'll tag them when a mistake happens or something. And then we have a good laugh about it. They're pretty cool people. Yeah, it's super awesome. <laughs> Very, very cool. I see you got a Zelda tattoo right in here. Uh, can you just talk about yeah. some of the other tattoos you have and then which one was your most painful? Ooh. Okay. So Zelda is actually my daughter's name. Oh, cool. And usually I would bring her on interviews, but I didn't know how crazy we were going to be. 
local band smoke out or turn the local I don't band. I so, don't I try not to do any any smoking during the interviews because they all go on YouTube and I have to be like very gentle right now with YouTube because I've gotten every single flag you can ever imagine and the channel's still there. Yeah. So I had to tone it down. <laughs> Delta's my daughter. She's usually on the interviews. She'll be on tonight. We have an interview at nine o'clock Eastern Standard, about forty five minutes with a band called Theo Terran. They just moved to Florida. Um, so yeah, she, she's on all my interviews that I do for the page. We do them twice a week. Um, and then we've got the zombie Mickey. My lighting is terrible. We can see it. I got you full screen on my end. So you're ginormous on the screen. So that's zombie Mickey. So that's going to be for Zeppi. That's our youngest. And then we've got the T-Rex. That's Zickory. This is my ex's son. My ex uh, fiance, Zickory. Zickory. That's how you spell it too. Zickory. Yeah, we've got Zelda. I've never Zephaniah. heard that name. That's an original name. I love that. We've got Zacchaeus and Zedekiah. So Zeke and Zed are just on my wrist. I plan on doing. Uh, plan on doing more with those another time. Um, putting so this whole right arm is going to be kid related. Cool. That's cool. Which, but, one, which one hurt the most though? Uh, the one on my chest. Okay. Okay. You want to see it? Yeah, hell yeah, I want to see it. Let's let's show some chests off. I'll show it's you my chest. You show me your chest. I'll show you mine. <laughs> it's not <laughs> done yet because I'm a big wuss. Okay. Okay. Oh wow, that is big too. Wow, that is big too. So it's supposed to look like this. Let me get closer here. Yeah, it's like ripping through yeah. your skin and stuff. I see. Yeah, it. Got the Spider-Man outfit underneath. And the part right in the middle, that is yep. my most painful spot of I've ever gotten yep. tattooed. That spot sucked. Yeah. That is the so worst. Here, here's what, I don't know if you can see it on my end, but here's what I got. Oh, yeah, yeah. And this, like you said, this spot right here, it's a nightmare. And everybody's like, it's going to be around the nipple. The, uh, the nipple part's going to be the worst because it's so sensitive. And I'm like, no, right here in the bone, that's what got me. Yeah, that one's that one's no good. Yeah. So uh, there's a the only thing I could recommend is um, there's a like tattoo spray you can get called Hush, and like the the artists like they can either incorporate it into like every time they use the soap to wipe an area, you can have them like spray it on the towel. So like each time they're wiping it, it like is less and less pain. Um, and 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 I mean ta I think all tattoos are we're not we're not trying to be a bunch of around here but um it, it cuts about like 30 to 40 percent of the paint out yeah so it's better than nothing yeah. <laughs> got motions and stuff but i've heard of bad things about it the artist that i have in missouri that really wants to finish my chest um he uses all organic okay. so he said his okay. stuff doesn't pull ink it doesn't irritate the skin really um or at least in his experience using it it doesn't he hasn't had any issues with that so we'll see when I get to a point where <laughs> I can finish my chest. I'll definitely hop right back down to Missouri and have him finish it up. So Hell yeah, cool. We only have time for maybe one or two more questions. But uh, uh, first question, do you do you play any instruments or are you just a lover of music? Um, so I grew up playing drums and guitar. Um, I know a lot of basics. I was a percussionist in high school. I was in marching band, all that stuff. Um, but I never could afford to, to buy a kit. You know, I had guitars for a while. Um, long story short, they got destroyed. I won't tell you how. But um, so yeah, I dabbled for a little while, and you know, just honestly, my love for music, I just really kind of pushed forward from there. So. You know, I, I play, so yeah, drums, guitar, and a little bit of bass, but it's all real basic stuff. I can keep a beat, I know my basic chords, uh, and then I know how to pluck a bass, basically, so. Final final question, your personal yeah. best show you ever attended, could be a big band or a small band, doesn't matter, and why was this one different than all the other shows? That's a tough one.
I have a hard time answering that one too. Yeah, I mean, I have a few that come to mind. A lot of the shows from the past I have a lot of memories attached to them that I don't want to think about. That, but they were still good shows. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably say this last one we went to um, with Dayseeker and Sleeping with Sirens because that was my. He's four now. He's about to turn five. Uh, wait. Well, yeah, he's four now, about to turn five. That was his first show. And then that was Zickory, that's the six-year-old. That was his second show. And then Zelda, that was her sixth show or something like that. So the, every every time we take the kids to a show and it's their first time, it creates a special spark for me. You know, it totally. creates a great menu, menu memory. Um, Zickory's first show, he's obsessed. You guys can hate in the chat if you want. I don't care. But he's obsessed with Ronnie Radke for some reason. He doesn't know Ronnie as a person. We don't show him that side. We don't show him all the nonsense. Um, but he's obsessed with his voice. He knows all the songs. He just absolutely loves Falling in Reverse. So the first show we went to was a Falling in Reverse show. And he had a blast. Zelda's first show was um, Papa Roach and Bad Wolves. And then she got to meet them after the show. That was pretty neat. Um, my 15 year old hates music well he hates going to shows a lot of there's too much noise too many people he just isn't a fan of it um so he doesn't really go to any shows so i don't even remember what his first show was something when he was little and then my oldest her show z was a i prevail show so each one of those shows uh they all hold special meanings for me because that, that was the it's a connection you know Hell yeah. Well, dude, it was, it was a blast hanging out with you. Uh, I'm excited for what the future holds for the company. Let's chug a beer real quick and then go send send you out. But uh, one more time, plug and promote anything on the way out. Yeah, so um, let's do... Obviously, you can find us on Facebook. Our Instagram's kind of low. Um, we haven't been posting much on there. TikTok, we don't do a lot on TikTok. But Facebook is our main um, place that you can find us. We post a lot of goofy stuff. Um, we post a lot of serious stuff. And ultimately, we love throwing unsigned underground bands into the mix throughout the whole process. People find, find new things. Um, but I want to shout out um, Metal Street Scene out of Louisville, Louisville, to Louisville Kentucky. Um, they're a brand new promoter. They just got started like four or five months ago. But they're doing repeat awesome their name one, Repeat uh, their name one more time. Metal Street Scene. Okay. Zach Clark. Um, Musical Misfit. They've been supporting us since day one. They're out of North Carolina. They do podcasts. Um, but yeah, those have been our biggest supporters, really. Those two. I'm sure there's more, but my brain isn't isn't allowing them to work right now. But <laughs> For sure. Yeah. Well, dude, I, I appreciate you hanging for a little bit, chatting. And like I said, uh, if, if there's anything that we can collab on in the future uh just go through me or lizzie and we'll, we'll set it up and that'll be fun the thing that i wanted to bring up so so here's our plan when you might i don't know how much of the post you read or not but we had somebody suggest it and it's an absolutely fantastic idea when and we're gonna we're gonna do when we hit ten thousand followers we're going to plan uh, shows all over the world on the same night. I've got contacts in Australia, the UK, Italy, um, Norway, Germany, and that's it. And then, so we're going to plan a show for the same night in all those countries. We're going to plan a show throughout the United States as well and try to hit a world record for the throwing a show with the same context on the same night um, as a celebration. Wow. So that was that sounds awesome. We have we have uh, we have about twenty locations interested right now. Yeah, I definitely think we could help in, in, in that department too. We know a bunch of people in everywhere that you mentioned except for Germany. We only know a handful of people in Germany, but uh, Yeah. Dude, that'll be fun. I think I wrote back on that post too about doing a collab tournament down the road. Yes, let's let's I definitely have a list of bands that I could throw on there. 
Okay, cool. Uh, These take a lot of like planning so, and, and promoting to get all the bands to bring their people and stuff, but it's a party. If you're down, you could be my co-host the entire tournament. And uh, like I said, I'll bring 16 bands, you bring 16. And uh, it's just all for fun, all for exposure for the artist. And then uh, absolutely. Ho hopefully we both get, you know, a couple of followers out of it. Sure. Yeah, just give me a date and I can schedule. Cool. We'll, we'll, we'll figure something out down the road. Last, absolute last thing. Give me the most random plural noun you can think of. We're in the middle of a Mad Lib that I haven't finished yet. Uh, let's say socks. Socks, heard. Hell yeah. Well, Dustin, dude, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, we'll be chatting soon to set that up. All right, sounds good. We'll talk soon. Hell yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Ghost Media Entertainment. Yeah, hell yeah. Have a great day, brother. Bye. Thanks. Hi, what's up, Welcome to the local band, Smokeout.